an educator, sometimes we find ourselves needing to learn new skills or refresh our current skills so that we can better serve our students. I'm going to walk you through my experience of obtaining the Microsoft Innovative Educator Certificate. And I'm going to share some tips and some ideas that I've learned along the way in regards to self-directed learning. Step one for this process is to identify your learning need. With many options, you need to choose the one that best serves your students. Since I already had an Apple Teacher Certification, a Google Level 1 and 2 Educator Certification, I decided to pursue the Microsoft Innovative Educator Certification in hopes that this would refresh my skills so that I could better serve my students and fellow coworkers. Step two would be, once you've decided which program or which certificate you're gonna pursue, be sure to register with that organization so that you can ensure that you can get your certificates when you've completed the course. Once you're in the Microsoft Education Center, you click on Programs and then Microsoft Innovative Educator Programs. At this point, you'll need to scroll down and click on the Join Microsoft Educator Center. The requirement for the Innovative Educator Certificate is that you complete two hours of training. Each learning session has a table of contents and it breaks it down into individual modules for the learning session. The modules can be a mix of reading and embedded video. My learning experience with Microsoft was positive. The lessons were written in a way that they were easy to understand and helped to connect the ideas to current situations. Embedded video is particularly useful for those who want to make connections to the material that they've read. The Office 365 Apps in the Classroom session will help you understand the difference between remote learning and online learning. It will help you consider the things that you need to do to create a good remote learning plan. It will help you connect with your students, establish routines, and create workspaces that foster learning. It also will help you to consider things to incorporate like school traditions and other aspects of a normal classroom. You'll learn about the types of teams you will need in your remote learning experience. You will also look at methods for creating pre-recorded lessons. You'll learn how to use Stream to manage and share your videos with students. You'll also understand the types of assessments available in remote learning. It'll go over the OneNote class notebook to show you how to share resources with students as well as evaluate their understanding. You'll learn how to use Flipgrid to stay connected with your students asynchronously. This lesson will help you personalize learning for all students. You'll explore the accessibility tools in Windows 10 and Office 365. You will also get some tips on how to help students transition to remote learning. In the Mastering Microsoft Teams lesson, you learn about how administrators can communicate and collaborate with their faculty in one location. You learn that Using Teams, teachers can collaborate with students while integrating assignments and assessments. Microsoft Teams is used for communication, collaboration, streamlining file sharing, and class notes. You learn about how all of these features can help you in the classroom. You also learn how administrators, leaders, teachers can collaborate on school initiatives. After obtaining my Microsoft Innovative Educator Certificate, I'm better equipped to help my coworkers and administrators with Office 365 and Microsoft Teams. Since the Microsoft Innovative Educator Program covers a variety of learning pathways, I'm certain you'll find a course that will benefit you. With any type of self-directed learning, search out the course that best meets your needs and the needs of those on your team.